Hello and good morning. So today is Friday the 13th. Ironically, I didn't realize the date until just now, but no matter. So this is going to be the first of many healing sessions I'm going to do in regards to sending distant healing energy to those in our community that would like some immune system support. As I was doing the meditation this morning and looking at the energy of today, I've set the healing color for this session at a yellow with an orange gold at the top. Some of the things that I had to ground out of the healing session today were fear, social media influence, also just the unknowingness of what's really going on behind the scenes. A lot of people are super frightened about what's going on and A lot of that comes from the programs that people have been subjected to. What I mean by programs is, you know, the programs from the government, programs from society and the social space and things of that nature. So I'm going to start. As I was meditating today and preparing for this session, there were a few colors that are affecting those of you out there affecting the, your ability to actually heal yourself and those colors are black gray red and white So when I talk about colors that are affecting a person from healing themselves, then a lot of times just me even saying hello or giving a hello on that to you, your spirit already knows what to do. A lot of what people are not connected to is their body and being communication where you're in full communication <clears throat> with your spirit 
Now, any and all diseases are in the form of vibrations. For many older adults that have many, many layers of experience here in in the reality, it's a little harder for them to not put their energy into what they hear on the news and what they see in social media. I do see a little bit of not, I wouldn't call it a divide, but there is a little bit of a little bit of that because younger people are like they understand it a, a little bit better that what's going on is nothing more than social media blowing it out of control as usual and things of that nature some advice that I've continuously been sharing is to unmatch the vibration of the coronavirus. Unmatch the vibration of disease and sickness. If you set your intentions that that virus, any virus, will not affect you then that's what will happen oftentimes people get into hysteria and they start speaking into existence things that they don't want instead of speaking these things that you don't want into existence. Practice speaking what you do want. For example, you want your wellness healing energy at 100%. You want to raise your vibration so high that disease and sickness cannot survive in your space and things like that. Also during my meditation and working with the Reiki energy, I will actually extend these healings to, instead of doing it for just seven days, I It was suggested to me to do and send Reiki to each state of the United States. So I will meditate a little bit more on that because that would mean doing around 50, 51 of these, uh, which is fine. And so I just want to give you guys a heads up that these will be continuous so anytime that you're feeling that you need a boost in your immune system feel free to tune in also share these videos to those that are older in your circle 
those that are I would say anywhere from 55 to 60 and older older because those are the, the people in our community that have the biggest fear right now as I take a look at it. So I am going to get started. So right now I am raising the vibration of the room to gold. And I'm turning Reiki on. So as we have this healing, we allow our cosmic and earth energies to flow through our bodies, helping us to heal. I invite you, the listener, to relax. in wherever you're at if you're on your lunch break if you're off today and you have time to yourself to just relax on your couch or even outside with your headphones on and just be open to receiving this good energy to help support your immune system and also to support the health of your aura. The health of your aura is vital and important. Because that's actually what comes in contact with foreign energy. And that's what disease and sickness is. Foreign energy, that's not you. So today I will be using a few oils here, my healing oil,
I'm also going to spritz some chamomile hydrosol. It's uh, going to help with calming, calming the space. I do have the aromatherapy going here. I also wanted to talk about your intentions. I believe I touched on it, but it's interesting when explaining to someone that their intentions are very important. If you intend to be healthy, you will be healthy. If you intend to have good things come into your life, you will have good things come into your life. Our words are very important because a lot of times what we speak manifests. I'll also be doing, I guess you can call it a roll call for any other energy healers out there. Whether you are a crystal energy healer, a Reiki energy healer, any other type of energy healers, I think it's a good time to send some energy that you work with out for world peace and to help in calming down this crisis that's being presented in our reality. A lot of places are sending out emails on, with their advice and things like that about what you can do and such. You know, even the director of the International Center for Reiki Training sent out an email and, you know, just suggesting that we do something like what I'm doing where we're, since we have 
been training and working with the Reiki energy to utilize it in this real world situation of sending energy to those that are working on vaccinations and things like that. Although I don't believe in vaccinations, but that's my opinion. <laughs> Because just like everything else, it's being made and created by somebody else. And we have really no idea what they're putting into it. When it comes down to health and vitality, keeping yourselves healthy, keeping your body healthy, keeping your mind healthy, are very important. I've done a video in the past where I did talk about thoughts are things and when somebody puts out a thought or they put out a statement Many times people welcome those into their space and they start having, I wouldn't call it a reaction, but more of more of a response to it. And the way they program it is through vibration. If your aura health is where it's unstable, you have a lot of holes and gaps and tears and it's letting a lot of stuff in then that's how it can affect you. Especially when it's connected to something around your crown chakra, also something around your solar plexus power distribution chakra, and also your root chakra. Many people are in their root chakra right now. Your root chakra is your survival instincts. And because many of us don't regularly do energy cleansing, you tend to have built up layers that are not you around your chakras. Each chakra has 12 layers and those 12 layers also have 12 layers. Each chakra is connected to your organs, which I have also discussed in other videos. And if those chakras are not spinning at a high vibration, then that's how they can get and become ill and start to malfunction. So we want to change our intentions on to the fact that coronavirus is not our future. I was watching a TED talk and the lady was, the title, just the title alone, you know, saying that this is something of our future, that right there is a program. Don't let 
other people control your reality. You are the creator of your reality and you do not have to accept their bullshit <laughs> to say it frankly. It is a wonderful thing that Reiki is so versatile and I don't want to just say Reiki but most energy healing modalities there is a component where you can send it at a distance and this is very helpful especially around this time because people are acting very funny towards each other because of fear in their space. Society has programmed them in such a way that they believe what they see and they adopt it. So since that's coming up, let's all unmatch the vibration of the coronavirus and intend to bring in your own healing energy. The Reiki that's being sent out to you today will help your spirit to pull in more of your healing energy and flush out the energy of others. It's helping to give support to the respiratory system, to the heart, to the liver, to the intestines, to the colon, to the spleen, to the kidneys. All of our vital organs that regulate That also includes the lymph node system. I'll also start teaching Reiki 1. In April, Reiki 1 is good for self healing. It's a little undecided if I'm going to start it at the beginning or the end of April because I as I'm designing the my courses I I see the need for a meditation prerequisite to even taking a Reiki class 
I find that a lot of people are offering it on Reiki classes online, which is totally fine. But on that same note, a lot of people are not used to running their own energy first. So that's really a vital, vital step before considering Reiki. Because a lot of times, I would say 80 to 95% of the time, there's energy in our space that we think is us, but it's actually not. So helping to learn to ground that out, to own and ground your own space, and then develop a relationship with the Reiki healing energy to help give you a healing as you give a healing. Reiki 1 is really good for healing yourself during times like this. Also to heal family and friends. It's going to be a dual component. Part of it is going to be online, but there's going to also be included a hands-on practicum because learning the techniques online, it's good as far as reading the literature and things like that, but a missing component that I see is the hands-on in-person interaction. Now, a lot of people might be like, well, what about the coronavirus? <laughs> and what I say to that is that it, coronavirus is not part of my reality. And helping people to find their own truth and to begin to release and heal themselves so that they can find their version of their own truth will likely help remove that barrier of fear. Like I've said, fear is lighting up and control energy is lighting up. And as I see these things, I'm actually utilizing a technique called blowing roses. If you don't know what that is, I would suggest you check out sacramentobpi.com for more information. That's where I learned that technique. So I would prefer to refer you over there because that's their copyrighted program. Uh, not program, but um, material. But just a short description, it basically helps to dismiss and release energy.
So the symbols that I'm using today are Choku Ray, Choku Ray, Choku Ray, Say Hey Ki, Say Hey Ki, Say Hey Ki. And Hansa Zeshonen. Hansa Zeshonen. Hansa Zeshonen. These three symbols are the basic symbols. So starting with tomorrow's session, I will start with the state that I am in, which is California. So I'll be doing the session for California tomorrow. And then I will move eastward to the different states. I am going to meditate on it again and because obviously it's a worldwide situation that's going on. It's not just, you know, fear being activated in the United States, but it's also happening where it originated. It's happening in other countries and things of that nature. So more than likely, I will go through the different states of the United States, and then I will do send Reiki to the different continents. But just set the intention for fear to leave your space. I still see fear lit in that, that light. I still see fear lighting up. And also set the intention to unmatch. Simply unmatch. Say to yourself, I unmatch the coronavirus sickness. I unmatch all disease and sickness. The cool thing about energy healing is as I send healing energy out, I'm also healing myself and giving myself a healing as well, helping my immune system to be resilient and help me to continue having vitality. and high havingness for wellness.
I'm also seeing the need for more amusement and less seriousness. So let's intend to move seriousness out of our space and bring in more amusement and happiness. So this video today is going to come out a little bit later than the post-it time because it took me a little bit longer to prepare, but the following sessions are going to be uploaded and ready to view at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So we give thanks for the many miracles that will happen from these healings. And I would like to thank you for joining me and I will see you tomorrow. This has been Alicia Reiki Master, your energy doctor.